Welcome back, Legendary Potato here to another Seed Showcase on Minecraft Bedrock Edition. I'm going to be showing you guys a crazy cool Minecraft update aquatic seed for you guys in today's video. So hope you guys all will enjoy the video. If you do, make sure you do leave a like on it. It does help out the channel a lot. Let's me know you guys do appreciate it, of course. But let's get into this seed here. This one's a really good one. It's going to be on the screen sometime around now-ish. So if you guys do want to see the seed, of course, make sure you do check it out and type it into your Minecraft Bedrock Edition version, and you'll be able to play on it. But this seed's really cool because you spawn right by an ocean, but as well as that, you also spawn by not just one, but one, there's two, and three villages uh, off of spawn over there. So as you can see, if you want to check out these villages, they're right over there. So... Let's go ahead and check out these villages first before we go into the aquatic stuff because, hey, you know, villages by spawn are always pretty cool there. So let's just go ahead and check out this here. So as you can see, first one is just a normal plains village and has a blacksmith, as you can see right over there as well. So let's go ahead and see exactly what we can find and expect inside this blacksmith. But this seed is crazy. Check out all the biomes on it, everything. So this seed will be perfect for survival. So if you want to play on survival, here you go. You can say so you get some gold, get some iron, get some iron stuff to start start off with not too bad it's not a perfect chest you don't get any diamonds don't get obsidian but not bad for starting off right away so that's something to consider there is that pretty much you get that stuff as soon as you spawn you can just run right over to there so you spawn around here of course uh, so you can get some trees get everything you need everything's all good there and of course the update aquatic stuff all in the ocean nearby and there's also like ice spikes over there not really ice spikes but like uh, the ice biome with like the ice shards everything like that Let's go ahead and check out this second village, which is also close to the third village. They're not too far away from each other. Uh, you do have to go a pretty decent distance in order to find it. Uh, so the coordinates are on the screen, of course, if you do want to find it. Here's this village here. So no blacksmith or anything like that. But of course, you can trade with the villagers and, you know, get whatever you want. So as you can see there, pretty cool stuff. Uh, so whatever you want to do, you can get tons of emeralds early on as well, uh, which is always very convenient. So here's the last village right over here. So if you want to check out this one. Uh, then here it is. There's also a blacksmith over here, which is always nice. Let's see what's inside of it. I have not checked inside this blacksmith, but I bet we'll find something pretty good. Ooh, okay, we got some obsidian, got some iron, got a saddle, so you can get a horse. Very nice stuff there. So, would definitely recommend that you check out these villages if you want a bunch of good loot uh, right when you start. Then that's a thing you can do there, of course. But of course, you guys probably came for the updated aquatic stuff as well. So here's the ocean all close to those villages there. So everything is in a very reasonable perimeter of this stuff. So if you want to check out the dolphins, there's some dolphins right there uh, and all the sort of cool stuff. So uh, nothing around here. I bet if we swim around for a bit, we'll be able to find uh, some of the more interesting stuff, uh, such as the coral or any of the structures that we could find. We could find some stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, this is like kind of more of a cold bi uh, biome, I believe it is. Uh, but yeah, you can see some of the dolphins there, and that seems to be about it. Uh, but if you go check out this huge ocean, I'm sure you'll find a lot more as well. But yeah, it seems like for the time being, uh, not too much coral around here. So uh, unfortunately, that's just one of the few downsides, is that coral might be a little bit harder to find in this ocean. You'll have to go ahead and find it. But what's great about this seed again is that there's so much ice over here. There's tons of blue ice in this little thing as well. So if you want tons of that blue ice, uh, then you just come here, grab some of that stuff off that shard, and you'll be all good there. But yeah, so tons of this stuff here. There's tons of cool mountains over there as well if you're into that. If you're into the tall mountain structure thing, uh, then that's got you covered there. But yeah, this ice biome is not even too big, so it's not like it's taking up a huge portion of your world, which is awesome. Uh, a lot of the world is like kind of a tundra, kind of like a uh, spruce biome thing going on there. So uh, lots of cold places around this part of the world, which uh, I guess you can kind of take that as you will. Uh, but of course, if you want to find some more of the warmer places, then you can probably head down that direction and you'll probably have better luck there. As you can see, there's like some more uh, of the warmer ocean. You can kind of see as uh, the water gets a little bit lighter blue, uh, then you'll be able to see some more warm ocean stuff which is always kind of cool as well so yeah on the seed like you get a bunch of cool mountains there's a savanna over here so if you want your acacia trees or you want to build a base over here then this place has got you covered it's a very cool looking place as well um which i can appreciate like look at this you could build a really cool house on top of that or around here so 
Uh, there's some pumpkins there if you want to do some pumpkin stuff. There's uh, a giant desert. I guarantee you, you'll probably find something cool. Ooh, there's actually an acacia village over there. Uh, you can see that off in the distance. So if you want to check out that village as well, there's tons of villages for you to explore, which is always kind of nice. He told you you'd find tons of cool stuff on the seed. Uh, so yeah, pretty cool stuff there. Did I, I think I checked out that village. Yeah, that's the one we saw uh, at the beginning, of course. So we're kind of back around here. There's a swamp around here as well, so you get a really good mix of biomes on the sea, which is always really amazing. So um, here you go. You can find some coral around here if you want it. It's around this village. Uh, so yeah, if you want to just get that, come by this village, get some of this cool stuff. And you'll get some of these big coral spawns as well, which is kind of nice. Uh, so uh, you kind of find it more in the, the warmer oceans. So you just kind of come over here. You'll have better luck with that. Get your coral, whatever you want to do with that. Of course, there's sea pickles you can see every now and then as well. So if you want to make those or get those for anything. And, and there's also a ravine there. So everything that you would probably want in a seed. Ooh, I just did a little glitch there. Uh, anything you'd want in the seed, you'll be able to find it on this one. And that's kind of why uh, it's a pretty cool one. I'd recommend you guys check it out, of course, uh, which I did put it on the screen at some point in the video. So if you do want to check it out, uh, it will be there for you guys, of course. But if you guys did enjoy this seed, go ahead and let me know by leaving a like and a comment. Let me know what you guys find on the seed. Uh, of course, if you guys find any cool structures other than the villages that I found for you guys, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. But tons of great starting stuff, so you guys will be totally all set. If if you make this your survival world and tons of biomes so getting a great variety of everything that is to be seen around the world so pretty cool stuff there but with that said that's going to be about it for me guys if you guys are new to the channel make sure you do subscribe so that you guys see more videos in your subscription feed so you guys can see more seeds just like this one so you can see more crazy cool stuff more of me if you want to see me which you know you probably do of course so make sure you go ahead and do all that sort of good stuff with the bell notifications hit but with that said i'll see you guys in the next one have a good one guys and peace out